The more I study nature, the more I stand amazed at the work of the Creator science brings men nearer to God. Chance favors the prepared mind. Question your priorities often. Make sure God always comes first. Little science takes you away from God, but more of it takes you to Him. Let me tell you the secret that has led me to my goal. My strength lies solely in my tenacity. To know how to wonder and question is the first step of the mind toward discovery. It is not the germs we need worry about. It is our inner terrain. Gentlemen, it is the microbes who will have the last word. Science knows no country because knowledge belongs to humanity and is the torch which illuminates the world. A bottle of wine contains more philosophy than all the books in the world. Wine is the most healthful and most hygienic of beverages. The role of the infinitely small in nature is infinitely great. The greatest derangement of the mind is to believe in something because one wishes it to be so. One does not ask of one who suffers, what is your country and what is your religion? One merely says, you suffer, that is enough for me. Intuition is given only to him who has undergone long preparation to receive it. Life comes only from life. When I approach a child, he inspires in me two sentiments, tenderness for what he is and respect for what he may become. Change only favors minds that are diligently looking and preparing for discovery. Whether our efforts are or not favored by life, let us be able to say, when we come near to the great goal, I have done what I could. Happy is he who bears a God within and who obeys it. The grandeur of human actions is measured by the inspiration from which they spring. Posterity will one day laugh at the sublime foolishness of the modern materialistic philosophy. Do not let yourself be tainted with a barren skepticism. If it is a terrifying thought that life is at the mercy of the multiplication of these minute bodies microbe consoling, hope that science will not always remain powerless before such enemies. There are no such things as applied sciences, only applications of science. Science is the highest personification of the nation because that nation will remain the first which carries the furthest, the works of thought and intelligence.